Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ruth and today I'm going to do a two weeks after my delivery update. So I had the cesarean birth two weeks ago. That was uh, December 5, 2017. Our baby River Philip was born. So he's gonna join our video later on this video. And yeah, so let's start with the update. So first I'm gonna update you what I went through as the mom okay and um, being on the CS so uh, having the CS done for me so the recovery was three days in the hospital and then on the fourth day we were able to get home so the biggest um, it was my first time to get hospitalized so it was really um, new to me so it's my first time to have an IV on my hands and parang on that time everything was just basic you know all i was thinking is how can i get out of the bed um, so the next day i really tried hard after they took out my catheter i tried hard to get up on the bed and start moving because sabi nila yun yung best way to cope with cs you have to move around para mag recover ka kaagad so the first trip to the bathroom was the hardest but it was doable and it's bearable and with the support of your family and friends you can do it <laughs> and the next struggle that I had while I was in the hospital is when ka magpupoop. So I was very, very happy na I brought prunes with me on my hospital bag. Yun, kain ako ng kain ng prunes and kiat-kiat, yung maliit na oranges. That really helped me um, move along my vowel. Kasi sabi nila, if after three days hindi ka pa rin nagpupoops, baka ma-extend yung stay mo sa hospital. So I really made sure na on the third day, na go na ako <laughs> TMI. So uh, when we got home, um, everything was still so hazy in the first week uh, because of probably um, yung biggest naging struggle ko yung pain. So I I was experiencing pain on the CS uh, incision side. Uh, so na ubus ko na yung medicine na pina take home sa akin ni Doc. I still have to uh, extend. So, na extend ako ng paracetamol and ano, uh, parang a few more days na on a need to basis na lang. So, I take 1000 milligrams of paracetamol every time I feel na I'm really uncomfortable with the pain. So, ayon. So, my weight after uh, the CS, uh, after one week, we had a checkup and I checked my weight. My weight is 117 pounds, which Nung buntis ako, I was 134 pounds. And before ako na buntis, I was 98. So it's not that bad. I'm really happy with that weight. And um, sleep pattern. So sleep pattern naman, nung first week, uh, I could really use a lot of help. Buti na lang nandiyan si John and uh, si Ren. So I was the one na uh, on night duty. And in the mornings, I could sleep. And I could uh, relax kasi nandiyan sila to uh, help me with the baby. And um, nung simula, uh, I will get 2-3 to three hours of sleep. Uh, and my baby will sleep through the night around 4-5 to five hours. Mahilig siya matulog. So hindi siya mahirap na baby. Hindi niya kami pinahirapan nung first few days. Straight natulog siya 4-5 to five hours. Kahit nung first day. And then, um, yung mga naging ano ko naman, specific for my situation, I had to have the heparin injection kasi I had a venous stasis and uh, yun nga, slow yung flow ng blood. So, I injected myself with that. Um, kaso lang, nagtuloy-tuloy yung bleeding. So, in-stop namin on the third day. And also, because of that, I have to wear the stockings, which is I'm wearing right now. Yeah, <laughs> It's the white stockings that I showed you on my vlog before that I have to wear two weeks after I know, giving birth. So I'm still wearing them now. And um, I'm also wearing this binder uh, for the pain then. Uh, this Winx binder. <laughs> Let me show you guys. This Winx binder, okay? So, I really like this one. Some of you commented on the comments on my video na if I could recommend it. Yes, I can really recommend it. Uh, I had the medium size. Pero what I can say is that get the XS size na lang if you're gonna use this. Kasi ang bilis niyang makapaslim nung ano mo. So, right now, hindi na ako kasha dito sa medium size na to. Kasi 
andun na ako sa pinaka last na hook. So, napaka-effective niya, napaka-comfortable. It's worth the money, but I would recommend get the smallest size if you could. And use the the murang binder muna for the first few days until you could fit in it. Kasi, uh, right now, I have to buy the smaller size, but no, I'm not gonna do that. So, ang ginawa ko, in-adjust ko na lang siya, tinahi ko siya dito, para mas maging ano siya, snug and fit for me. Kasi medyo pricey siya. So, so aside from those, um, yung napansin ko sa body ko is yung wrist ko, sobrang sakit niya lately. Kasi yung pag-carry-carry kay baby and everything, remember when I was still pregnant, masakit na talaga yung wrist ko. And I thought it's gonna go away after pregnancy, but still hurt here. It still hurts here. So that's it for a uh, mommy update. And now, let me introduce you to my baby. And this is Baby River. Oh, hi! Hello everyone! My name is River! <laughs> He's awesome! So mabait! Our baby is so mabait. Hindi siya fuzzy at all. Kung wala naman siyang nararamdaman na anything. Wala lang talaga. Ayan o, he's enjoying his awake time. Can you see him? Hello everyone! So he's been doing a lot of um, cameos on my vlogmas. So watch my vlogmas. Lagi siyang nandun. Lagi siyang starring. So about naman sa baby, uh, update ko kayo. Uh, for him, he was born 8 pounds and 20.5 inches on December 5, 2017 at 10 o'clock in the morning. And he is basically a very chill baby as you can see. Napaka chill niya lang. <laughs> oh no, chill lang po ako. Hello everyone, chill lang po ako. Hi! So, sino kaya kausap ni mama? <laughs> sino kausap ni Baby update. Um, he's a very chill baby. He sleeps a lot. He listens to us a lot. He looks at us a lot on his awake time. And yun, his ano, pero buyag, knock on wood, we love him so much, napaka ano niya, napaka bait. And then, um, yung umbilical cord niya, natanggal siya on his sixth day. And uh, right now, we're still healing his circumcision. It's been healing pretty well. And uh, nung, ano, nung one week, ano namin, one week checkup namin, last week, okay naman, everything is fine, sabi ng doctor, we just need to, ano, uh, bilad him more sa araw kasi medyo yellowish siya ng konti and everything is fine, yung weight gain niya and everything sa so, breastfeeding naman, yun nga uh, we've been struggling kasi uh, I, nung simula kahit nung nasa hospital pa kami he cannot hold on to the breast so lalo na nung dumating yung milk ko hirap na hirap siya hindi niya talaga, hindi siya makakain like Maglalat siya, tas matatanggal. Maglalat siya, tas matatanggal. And so, 24 hours yung hindi nag-poops. And then so, I know, ini 24 hours na yung poops. So, ang ginawa ko, I pumped my breast milk and I fed it to him via dropper nung simula and then syringe. So, I, I fed him every 2 hours. Kawawa, gutom na gutom siya. And then, after that, he was able to poops. And mommy was happy. <laughs> Can you imagine to be happy na makakita ng poops? Ngayon lang nga tayo. <laughs> Ngayon ko lang na-experience yun. And then, um, uh, yun nga, um, a few days ago, I've noticed na meron siyang lip tie. So, I'm gonna show the picture here kung ano itsura ng lip tie. And um, we, I showed it to my pedia and he referred us to, oops! Hey! <laughs> Ang poops ulit siya! <laughs> Ang poops ka wala, nagbibideo si mommy. Ang cute! You have that most cutest face when you're pooping. It's so peaceful. <laughs> Anyway, so, <laughs> sorry, daming break nitong video na to. Pero, pumunta kami sa dentist kasi yun yung re-refer sa amin ni doctor. Um, that dentist is uh, talagang, he, she is an expert sa lip tie and tongue tie. So, we went there for assessment. So, nag-positive si River ng lip tie. Negative naman siya sa tongue tie. Posterior tongue tie. Oh, 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 negative po no. So what we did, uh, we had a procedure done for his lip tie. It's a laser surgery. It's very fast. It's five minutes, and um, there's I know there's a local anesthesia na ginamit kaya umiyak siya ng a little bit non. And um, after that, 
uh, yung recovery niya uh, since last night he's a little bit fuzzy so I'll just feed him pero grabe yung difference ng breastfeeding namin mas maano na siya mas mabilis na siyang kumain hindi na siya natutulog in between feeding hindi na natatanggal yung breast dere derecho um, yun lang yung susimula which is has been there from the very beginning hindi niya talaga nahuhuli yung breast ko. So, it takes about uh, 10 to 15 minutes na iiyak siya para mahuli yung breast. And once na nahuli niya na, yung difference ngayon is tuloy-tuloy na yung pagkain niya. Pati pag-poops niya. Tuloy-tuloy <laughs> na rin. Pero kawawa si baby after nung procedure. As in, talagang awang-awa kami sa kanya. Kasi yung lips niya, nag-ano, nag, nag-swell. It's kind of still swollen right now. Pero... Somehow, it's back to its normal size. Kahapon talaga, as in, malaking, malaking uso niya. Ano, nag itsura ni baby. And, ayun. So, that has been my update for this video. Hey! I need to go! <laughs> and thank you guys for watching this video. And if you enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to this channel for good vibes. And I will see you guys on the next one. Magi-change siya kami ng diaper. <laughs> so, bye-bye! Woo! Poop ka pa ulit. Achoo! 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 Bago lang ka chininch diaper. Poop na ulit. Oh! Love you! Love you!